How to lose weight on a gluten-free diet. Health conditions like celiac disease or a gluten sensitivity are chronic issues that can cause unpleasant GI symptoms like diarrhea, abdominal bloating and pain, and vomiting, as well as nutrient deficiencies, which cause bone loss, neuropathy, internal bleeding, disorders of the liver, gallbladder, spleen, and fertility problems. One, if you have either of these conditions, the only way to manage and prevent symptoms from occurring is by following a strictly gluten-free diet. While there are many gluten-free products on the market, many of them are also packed with sugar, which can cause you to gain weight, and are low in fiber, nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. Instead, stick to fruits and vegetables, gluten-free whole grains, legumes, lean protein, nuts and seeds, low-fat dairy, and healthy fats. 2. Losing weight on a gluten-free diet. Talk to your doctor. If you are experiencing unwanted weight gain while following a prescribed gluten-free diet for celiac disease or a gluten sensitivity, it's important to talk to your doctor about safe and appropriate weight loss. Many times people with these chronic conditions experience weight loss when their conditions are not properly managed. This generally occurs from severe malabsorption of calories and other nutrients in addition to a fear of eating foods. 3. Once the condition has been managed and absorption has been restored to normal, it's natural to experience some weight gain and this may even be beneficial. However, too much weight gain or weight gain that puts you into an overweight BMI category is not beneficial. Talk to your doctor about how much weight loss would be appropriate for you and ask about what types of diets or eating plans will be safe and appropriate for your condition. Also consider talking to a registered dietitian. These nutrition professionals frequently specialize in celiac disease and other allergies and can help you manage your condition while losing weight. Ask your doctor for a referral or search online. Manage calories. Even with a condition like celiac or a gluten sensitivity, the best way to lose weight is to pay attention to your total calorie intake and decrease your calorie intake to help start weight loss. To lose weight safely, cut out about 500 calories a day. This is especially important if you've had previous unwanted weight loss with these conditions. 4. This will result in about a 1 to 2 pound weight loss each week. 5. You want to aim for this slow, more gradual weight loss to make sure you're eating enough nutrients to maintain a healthy body. Start by noting all the foods and drinks you consume in a typical day and figure out the total calories you're eating. Subtract 500 from this number to determine a new calorie goal that will help you lose weight. Do not consume less than 1,200 or you risk gallstones, extreme fatigue, and other side effects. 6. Fill up on lean protein and produce. Although it may seem like gluten is in a wide variety of foods, and it is, many foods are actually naturally gluten-free. Most protein, fruits and vegetables are nutritious and gluten-free. Protein is essential for a well-balanced and lower calorie diet. It helps fuel weight loss and keep you satisfied during the day. 8. Include 1 or 2 3 to 4 ounces servings of leaner protein per meal. Choose a variety of these naturally gluten-free protein sources, seafood, poultry, eggs, low-fat dairy, lean beef, beans and nuts. 9. Whole fruits and vegetables are also naturally gluten-free and are an important part of your weight loss diet. Aim for 5 to 9 servings daily to help you meet your minimum intake. 10, 11. Although whole, unprocessed and minimally processed protein, fruits and vegetables are usually 100% gluten-free, always double-check. For example, frozen vegetables that come in a sauce or gravy may have gluten or pre-made salads may have gluten in the dressing. Go for 100% gluten-free whole grains. Having either celiac disease or a gluten sensitivity may have you thinking you can never have grains or foods made with grains. However, there are plenty of tasty options that can serve as gluten-free substitutes. Grains like wheat, barley and rye and their flours are not tolerated with celiac or a gluten sensitivity. In addition, foods made from these grains like bread, pastas, muffins, waffles, cereals, English muffins and wraps will also not be tolerated. However, there are grains that are naturally gluten-free and can be enjoyed worry-free. Many of them are also 100% whole grain and offer more protein and fiber. Try quinoa, brown rice, millet, amaranth, gluten-free oats, corn, teff, nut flours and buckwheat. 12. If you're choosing to have one of these grains or a food made from them, make sure to measure out an appropriate portion size. Go for one half cup or one ounce per serving. 13. Only include two to three servings daily as most of your diet and nutrients should come from protein, dairy, fruits and vegetables. Snack wisely. Whenever you're trying to lose weight, you'll need to monitor how much you're snacking and when you're snacking. Be careful with snack choices and portions to make sure you continue to lose weight. Snacks can be a great addition to a weight loss plan or diet. They can give you a needed boost of energy, an extra shot of nutrition or carry you over until your next planned meal. 14. However, snacks that are high in calorie, fat and sugar are not the best choices. Stick to snacks that are 150 calories or less so that you can still stay within your calorie goal. 15. Great ideas for nutritious gluten-free snacks include, a hard-boiled egg, plain yogurt with fruit, dried fruit and nuts, or hummus and cut-up vegetables. 16. Only snack if you need to. 
for example, have a snack between two meals that are more than four to five hours apart or have a small bite to eat before a long workout. Try to avoid snacking out of boredom or stress. <laughs>